Welcome back. I'm Lauren Pizzi, joined by Arkansas. Oh, sorry, start that over again. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. Oh my gosh. <sighs> sorry. Welcome back. I'm Lauren Pizzi, joined by Kevin Richardson, Arkansas cornerback. Kevin, what was your recruiting experience like coming out of high school? Well, I mean, it was tough, you know, being undersized. Like, I was like 160, 150, something like that, coming out of high school. And a lot of people didn't want to recruit somebody that was undersized, and they wanted somebody who could play one position. And for me, in high school, I had to play several positions. I played, you know, quarterback, running back, receiver, safety, corner. And most recruiters look for one, somebody that can play one position, you know, particularly well and that just made it tough for them to decide on. What was your favorite me. position to play? Uh, I like being a playmaker. I like being a receiver, having the ball in my hands. You know, I kind of miss it, but you know, I love playing defensive back now because I know what, it, what a receiver wants to do with the ball. Why did you decide to walk on to Arkansas instead of going somewhere where you had scholarships? Um, it was tough. Like at the end of the day, I wanted to make it easier on my parents, but I knew that they, they needed some, some you know, some financial help. And I tried to take some off their pockets and, you know, I got some scholarships outside of football. But I chose to walk on here because, you know, it's a dream for everyone in the state of Arkansas growing up playing football to, you know, to go play for the Razorbacks. And to be able to say that I could, that I did it was like an accomplishment for me. And I really wanted to do that. What kept you motivated knowing that you weren't on any scholarships? Um, seeing the people play, like, even it wasn't even just motivation to to get on scholarship. It was more of a motivation to to get on the field and represent the state, like like I get to do now. But you know the scholarship was a plus. How has your role changed from being on the scout team to the team now? Um, it's it's a lot more work. Our coaches put a lot more on the players who play. You know, as a scout team player, you you get told what you're supposed to do. But as a person on the on the depth chart, like you know ones or twos you have to practice against what other teams are going to do against you. And to be able to come and see different pictures of whatever they do makes you want to focus in more and bring more people along with you, you know, to, to be a better defensive back you know, group. What was the biggest challenge trying to um, do that and academics kind of balancing both? That's always tough, you know, the time management between trying to be a great football player and be great academically is always going to be tough. but. I feel like our academic staff has done, has done a great job, you know, bringing everyone together and bringing new people in, you know, to motivate us to, to get a degree on top of, you know, trying to be all SEC or be all American. So what was your reaction when you found out you were put on scholarship? It's like anybody else you'll see, you know, I, I cried a little bit. I don't want to sound emotional, but I did cry a little bit, you know, because it took a lot off of my parents, took a lot off of my shoulders. Um, you know, it just felt like a big relief. Um, to be able to, to have my school paid for, I knew my parents could send my baby sister up here. She'll be up here next year along with me and four of my siblings. Are you close with your siblings? Close to all of them. I see them every day, talk to them every day. I actually saw my little sister before I came in here today. Do you go home a lot? Uh, with football, we really don't get a lot of opportunities to go home, but when I can, I do. What do you hope to accomplish next season? Um, I really want to try to try to strive to be all SEC. You know, being all SEC is big, like in the country. Because if you're all SEC, you're pretty much going to be all American, and that's something I really want to. That's one of my goals to be all SEC. But you know, eventually football football will end. So you know, I'm trying to. My overall goal is to get my degree. You know, graduate. So what do you want to do if, when football does end? Um, uh, probably be an athletic trainer, but. I, I really want to lean towards coaching because my experience, like with football, I play so many positions. I could coach, you know, more than one thing if I need to. Would you want to coach college, high school? I prefer college. You know, I like the the bond that they build with us as as players, and we get to see them every single day. What do you hope to accomplish for the next season? Next season, I mean, we all want to be, you know, a national champion. That's everybody's goal in college football and in college athletics in general. And, that's something I feel like we've really been aiming towards trying to get to. And we talk about it a lot in the locker room. We talk about it amongst each other. So I think that's our overall goal. When you are on the field, what is something fun you like to do? Fun? I mean, in practice, I like to dance to the music that they play, but that's everybody. Um, 
I don't know. I just I'm, I just like to be myself out there, bring my own energy, you know, try to bring everybody along with me. All right. Thank you so much. For Kevin Richardson, I'm Lauren Pizzi. We'll be right back.